A man is riding a motorcycle along the road before stopping to pick up an unconscious woman's body, lying by the roadside and placing it in a white van. Transitioning to a completely white room, a naked woman begins to put on the clothes of the unconscious woman. The unconscious woman sheds a few tears despite being completely still. Now that she's clothed, the woman becomes intrigued by an ant crawling across her hand. The woman then descends the stairs of the building while the motorcyclist drives off. Subsequently, the woman drives the white van to the mall. Inside the bustling mall, the woman blends in with the crowd, shopping for clothes and makeup. After adorning a fur coat and applying red lipstick, she drives around the city, her gaze fixated on male pedestrians. Upon spotting a man, she asks him for directions. He explains that the route is complicated but attempts to guide her nonetheless. When asked about his plans, he mentions a meeting and departs. She continues to ask men for directions, losing interest when they show no inclination to get into the van. However, she eventually encounters a man who lives alone. After learning about his solitary life and independent work, she invites him into the van. When questioned about her activities, she says that she is transporting furniture for her family. They exchange subtle glances before he also leaves. Another man, who shares a laugh with her during the drive, catches her interest. They flirt and she takes him to her place, leading him into a completely black room. As they undress and walk further into the room, he appears to sink into a mysterious hole. After he completely submerges, she puts her top back on and exits the room. The woman continues to drive around with an inscrutable expression on her face. As dawn breaks, she finds herself at a beach where she spots a man in the ocean. She inquires if he knows of any good surfing spots, to which he replies that he isn't a surfer. He reveals that he's from the Czech Republic and came to Scotland to enjoy more solitude. Their conversation is interrupted by the sound of a woman screaming as she's drowning. The man rushes to aid her husband in saving her, but he fails, leaving him exhausted on the beach. The woman, for some unknown reason, then approaches him, picks up a rock, and strikes his head with it, all while the baby watches and cries. She then drags the man's body into her van. Later that night, the motorcyclist arrives at the beach, collects all the Czech man's belongings, and leaves the baby where it is. In her van, the woman spots a man who's walking into a club and follows him but then walks back. A group of young women, seemingly enamored by her appearance, invite her to join them in the club. Feeling out of place, the woman hastily exits the club. A man approaches her, offering to buy her a drink. She recognizes him from the road and dances with him. She leads him to the completely black room. They undress and he sinks into the hole. As he floats inside the hole, he watches her leave the room, leaving him trapped. He sees another naked man stuck with him, their bodies seemingly affected by the void they're in. The man touches his hand and appears to scream without making a sound before. Suddenly, his body completely shrivels down, leaving only his skin floating in the void. Shortly afterward, his blood and internal contents are drained. The woman continues her journey, driving around. A flower boy gives her a rose in traffic, telling her a man from another car sent it to her. She thanks him, then notices a red substance on her hand. Wondering what it is, she realizes it's from the wounded hand of the flower boy. She hears news of the deaths of the drowned husband and wife on the radio, but there's no mention of the man she killed. The woman starts observing women for a moment before she sets her sights on another man. She takes him home and the same process unfolds. The motorcyclist scrutinizes the woman, peering deeply into her eyes before departing. The woman follows suit and leaves shortly after. While walking on the sidewalk, the woman trips and falls, but is assisted by a passerby. She continues her journey as if nothing happened. After a day of walking, she gets into her van and starts driving. A group of rowdy young men attempt to intimidate her by banging on her van, but she remains unfazed. She then continues to drive around with seemingly a hint of tears in her eyes. She pulls over, rolls down her window, and interrupts a passerby, asking for directions. The passerby, a man with a hood, agrees to guide her. He removes his hood, revealing a facial disfigurement. She knowingly asks him why he prefers shopping at night. He answers that people often bother him. At 26, he has never had a girlfriend. She inquires if he ever feels lonely and compliments his hands. For the first time, he looks at her. She asks him if he wants to touch her. Initially, he hesitates, but eventually gives in. He touches her hand, then her face, then her neck, and expresses a desire to do it again. She invites him to her place, an invitation he knows he should decline, but he succumbs to the temptation. They undress. Inside their room, a completely black figure is seen walking. The man questions if they are dreaming, to which the woman says yes, they are. The same fate befalls the man, while the completely black figure remains in view. On her way out, the woman finds a mirror and gazes deeply into her own eyes. She hears the buzz of a fly before she emerges with the naked man, rescuing him from the void. The motorcyclist, seemingly aware of the woman's actions, quickly locates the naked man. He kills him, steals a car, and places a body in the trunk. An elderly woman observes the scene from her window. 
The motorcyclist notices her before driving away in the car. The woman is heavily breathing in the van, knowing that she's in trouble now. She steps out into the fog and embarks on a journey through the desolate roads. She stops at a restaurant and orders a piece of cake, but after taking a hesitant bite, she immediately spits it out. A kind stranger notices her walking and informs her that a bus will arrive soon, saving her from the long walk. The bus driver comments on her inappropriate attire for the cold weather. The stranger concerned for her well-being offers his help, which she accepts. He lends her his jacket and takes her shopping for food. He then brings her to his home, where they watch TV and he prepares a meal for her. She observes him washing the dishes, and later he provides her with a warm room and makes her tea. Once alone, she spends time thoroughly studying her body in the mirror. Meanwhile, an entire team of motorcyclists embarks on a mission to find the woman. The woman and the kind man go for a walk, during which he carries her over a pond to prevent her from getting wet. He takes her on a short adventure and shows her places she has never seen before. Back in the house, the two have grown to like each other, start to get intimate and undress in bed. As he starts making love to her, she suddenly jumps up, picks up a desk lamp, and starts looking closely between her legs, as if not aware of what was there. Afterward, she walks alone through the forest, wearing a jacket, presumably given to her by the kind man. A man in a forest ranger uniform sees her. Rather talkative, the man warns her about the dangerous weather conditions, while subtly getting her to confirm that she's all by herself. To escape the harsh weather, she seeks shelter in a vacant cabin, where she decides to take a nap. She is awakened by the creepy man in the ranger uniform, rubbing her thighs. Startled, she pushes him away and runs out into the bushes to hide, but the man catches up and tackles her, pinning her down to the ground. As he starts to forcefully undress and assault her, he is shocked to see her skin peeling off his hands, revealing a black interior. Terrified, he runs away. The woman stumbles around and removes the rest of her skin, revealing herself to be the completely black figure seen earlier. Despite being completely disconnected from her body, her eyes continue to blink. The creepy man suddenly returns, douses the black figure in gasoline, and sets it on fire. From the top of a hill, the motorcyclist watches the smoke of the mysterious figure being burned.